10, 3, 2, 1, 0. So here's how it works. 10 hours before bed, no more caffeine. Three hours before bed, no food or alcohol. I will tell you that digestion robs us of good circadian sleep. Remember, we have to decide where we want the blood and the oxygen in our body to be. You can either have it here in your head or you can have it down here deep in your gut. As soon as we fill the 30 foot long intestinal tract with food, we divert a lot of valuable oxygen and a lot of valuable blood to the gut. When we go into a deep sleep, our respiratory rate begins to drop. As our respiratory rate drops, the amount of oxygen we're bringing into the bloodstream drops. As the amount of oxygen coming into the bloodstream drops, the brain does not allow the body to get into a deep theta or delta state of sleep. In fact, the brain, which is concerned about survival, although we'd like to think it's very sophisticated, in some cases kind of not, it's really concerned about saving your life, will not let you get into a deep sleep if you don't have the oxidative state to sustain deep sleep. This is why I'm not a big fan of tranquilizing sleep medications, these things that people use on a consistent basis to drug themselves to sleep. 